At gunpoint, he went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now, is there anything you would like to say? How about crooked man? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell, you didn't stop the charade. We know Let you're him speak. Everyone, just shut up for a minute. Er darf auch reden. Want a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on with it then! we promised you a chance to defend yourself. Richtig. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? This is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. How else? You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel. Lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or God. what? Denk ich mir auch gerade. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such bullshit! He's always once. been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Oh, really? God. I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. <laughs> when you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Uh... You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Christ your is. people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because <laughs> they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You mm. scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Genau. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions. Oh, no. As Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? No. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, Richtig. that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. Best to. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this Richtig. town go to the fucking gods. Didn't you the guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story <laughs> is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Faithful. <sighs> because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She didn't have a for the longest time, not much. But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. Yeah. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed, 
If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? <laughs> you were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know what you're doing. Mm. It's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Didn't no. they just this is that... important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. Yep. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to know what <laughs> you to do to get it. It had nothing to do with a Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. Christus. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but Dust and... we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting yep. your hope for a better life. Christus. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Christus. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. Christus. They're right. Ooh, You're all still beast. afraid of him, Ooh. even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. Wow. And those girls will have their justice. Thank you. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't <laughs> disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie murder. was working for you. Bigby got a confession that... A confession that... that nobody heard. No. I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. This? I just of mean. course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Richtig. Yes, of course! Ich weiß, was er sagen will. Whatever you're getting at, get to it. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? What happened with Tweedledum? I made a mistake. He's attacking me, and I, I just acted. I didn't think. That's the only reason. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before. How about the way he treated the boy <sighs> when he was in your custody? This? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. Snow First had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. First Besides, this. Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. First right this. before you decided to kidnap him. No, it was for his no, own no, protection. No, no. Yep. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, man. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends. But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them. Everyone calm down. 
Please. Please. Level here. of privilege should be afforded to Tahoe. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, mm -hmm. and ever since, which one of ich us has been you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? <laughs> Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's one? she doing here? I'd like to- I, I need to say something. There she is. Kind of in the middle of something. It's uh, okay. Of course. Go right ahead. How was? You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. You I enslaved us either. for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. <laughs> I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Nope. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm this sorry. Is. I don't think I Nerissa. Know your... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. <laughs> I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. First is. First hand. He's guilty. Yes, he Good is. for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, is. fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, yep. you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. This is. Well done, then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. Dust him. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I have not good enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't stopped. Hmm. Hmm. So, so we get rid of him. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I this think we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you are suggesting <sighs> yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. Come, have vote. A vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? Yes. He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's <laughs> the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you uh, sure? Du this isn't what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Ach du Scheiße!